Hello, beautiful people, and thank you for tuning into my channel. My name is Jennifer Diamond, and I live a whole food plant exclusive, sofas free, gluten free lifestyle for health and healing. And I thought I would jump on and finish, uh, you know, going forward on the sprouting. But before I get started with that, I thought that I would share about my weighted vest because I'm getting a lot of questions about my weighted vest and people asking, um, you know, if that's what I'm wearing or, or questions about it. So um, I thought, well, before I put it on, I'll jump on here and share with you and then we can talk about sprouts. So why do I wear a weighted vest? Um, for me personally, I wear a weighted vest because I've been diagnosed with osteoporosis and I am on a healing journey and I could not just jump into uh, physical activities the way that I once had. So I was told, and it was recommended by several doctors, medical doctors that examined me for my own personal um, situation that a weighted vest would be helpful in helping me to slowly uh, gain bone strength in my spine. I've had a, a DEXA scan, which is how I was diagnosed with osteoporosis. And if you're not familiar with the DEXA scan, it's kind of like an x-ray machine. Um, you, I, I, I lay down on a table and um, they have me kind of well, it's as if you're sitting in a chair and then they lay you down. So your legs are in a 90 degree angle. Uh, sometimes they have you uh, put your legs straight and they put cushions under you or strap your legs a certain way. And this machine just kind of goes over you. And those results measure bone. And how they measure bone is they compare it to women that are like 20 years old and their bone. And I guess um, seeing the age of the general, seeing the, let's see, I guess seeing the age of a 20 year old's bone and then they compare it out, you know, eat it as you age. And I, I don't know. Anyhow, that's what I know about that and how they come up with um, giving you a number. At that point, you get a number and the number is based on a range. And so uh, depending on where you fall, we'll give you a diagnosis of osteopenia or osteoporosis. And osteoporosis is uh, worse than osteopenia. But um, we all age and, you know, our bones are supposed to progress to osteopenia, in my opinion. I am not a medical doctor. This is just information that I've gathered through my own experience. So um, if this is something that you think is, you know, that you're learning about and you think that might be helpful for, for you, then I suggest you go to your medical professional, go to your doctor and have a discussion about it and see if this is a good fit for you. But just uh, sharing my own experience is they told me, go ahead and wear a weighted vest. So how did I choose a weighted vest? I chose this particular one. At the time, it was recommended to me. I don't know if it's still uh, available, but it's called Fitness Gear. And I know you can find lots of them. The reason that this one I really liked uh, is because, first of all, it has shoulder pads. And, you know, I don't know if you can tell, but... They're squishy and, and nice. So when you're carrying weight, I mean, you want some, some cushion. I want some cushion. So for me, that was an important feature. Um, another thing that was really important for me is the shape of it. Um, I've seen some that zip up and they're a full vest. And, um, you know, there's all different kinds. But for me, I wanted one that wasn't you know, the whole body. I also wanted um, to be able to have my chest not be squished in all day. And so this one kind of goes out a little bit. And for my body, for uh, this was a good fit for me. The other thing is that it's adjustable. And so on the bottom of the vest, 
I have these Velcro straps. And I'll show you when I put it on, they loop into these um, little hook thing, and not hooks, these little, whatever you call these, this, this little thing. And, uh, and then they wrap around and then you can Velcro it. So it's adjustable. So if you have, if you wanna wear it under a, a t-shirt, if you wanna wear it over a sweater, uh, on top of a jacket, under a jacket, whatever, I have the ability to adjust it so it isn't so uh, tight around the waist part. But you know, the shoulder straps are not adjustable and they just hang. The vest itself, I weighed empty and it is a pound. So um, the other thing that was a great feature for me is that this can be uh, adjustable. The weight is adjustable. There are a lot of them where the vest comes with sand that has been like sewn into pockets that you can't open. And that's great for some people, but for me, I needed to make this a progression and I needed to start with just the vest and being able to add weight as I go was what was important to me. And so I'll show you, um, this is the back of the vest and this one has five pockets and the front of the vest, the same five pockets. So we have 10 pockets and uh, it comes with these weights. These are two pounds. And uh, I actually, I just love keeping boxes. <laughs> so I have the original box for this one. And again, no affiliation, just what I chose. Um, so it says it's a weighted vest, it's a 20 pound adjustable, and I still have more weights in it. So I have all of these two pound weights that I can continue to fill or, you know, use for something else. And let me think, I think that it said something under the box, um, just to making, just make sure that I share correctly. So on the box, it says, adjustable in two pound increments, boost conditioning with this two pound to 20 pound weighted vest, equally distributes additional weight for comfort and safety, adjustable waist straps for, com uh, for comfortable fit and movement, and improves cardio strength, power speed, and agility. They recommend 10 pounds for running, jogging, walking, 15 pounds for running, jogging, walking, 20 pounds for body weight training vest, and 40 pounds for body weight training vest. Um, 40 pounds, hmm. but it's 20 pound adjustable. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 20, hmm, I don't know. Anyways, that's what the box says. I'm not gonna go jogging in this thing. <laughs> I mean, I have for a second or two, but no, that is just going to, for me, that's not gonna be smart because I've got, I've had uh, lower back surgery and the last thing I wanna do is now pound on my body. So, but that's what the box says and that's what they recommend. At any rate, let me go to this side. So the pockets Velcro, let's see, can you? And in the pockets, this is where you can fit the two pound weights. So I have three choices at the top. And because I'm building, I try to put it as even as possible. Um, so I have a two pound there and I have in the back here, I have another two pound that's four pounds and then down below in the back, because I was told by um, a professional that I should keep it a little bit heavier on the back side, because that's what I'm working on strengthening my back. So if I have an uneven amount of weight that I'm filling in because of how I'm uh, adding, then I will choose to put a little bit more in the back. And then here's another two pounds. So I've got two, four, six of these two pounders in. And then I have some um, ankle weights. These ankle weights are super old. I've had these for, I don't even know how many years, well over 20 years. And I know you can sell, it. they sell ankle weights. These are the SPRI, again, no affiliation. I have no idea if they even make ankle weights this way anymore. Yes, I have the box for these, which I'll show you in a minute. And these are very similar because they also 
Velcro with pockets. And these are the weights that come in here. And these are half pound weights. And then you can just wrap them around your ankle. Um, I am not currently using these for ankle weights, but here I took out some to show you that came uh, out of the ankle weight pocket. And so what I'll do is I will do increments of a half pound. These are half pound. Remember, these are two pound. I can't go straight to the two pound personally. So I go to the half pound. And um, so for me, I am increasing every one to two weeks, depending on how I physically feel. If I have a lot of soreness, uh, because I am gradually bringing up the weight, then I will keep the weight and I reevaluate every week. So every week I'll keep the weight if it feels like, you know, it's hard or it's, or I'm sore on my shoulders or something. But um, by the second week, I'm usually okay. But if I can, whenever that is, either the first week or the second week, I will add a half pound. So again, here in the front, I have some half pounds in there. So we saw that I had the two pound here. And then in this pocket, here's another, here's a half pound on one side. Let's see if I have anything on the other side right now. I do. I actually, I have two. So I have a pound and a half. And so I have two, three and a half pounds here, three and a half pounds here. And then on the back side, do I have, I do. I have a half. So four pounds, five, six, seven, eight pounds, and the vest, nine pounds. I just went up that half a pound to nine pounds yesterday. Yay! <laughs> and if I found that, or I have found that, uh, I can't go up a half pound and I need to move the needle because I've been here too long, you know, uh, and I want to up it a little bit. I have these, which I purchased uh, probably within the year. I had a personal trainer that I absolutely love. And her name is Angela Fischetti. And she is the owner of Boomer and Beyond. And you can find her on uh, on Facebook or YouTube, I think. And um, I will try to link to her channel uh, in the show notes below. She uh, is wonderful at, at helping people with um, keeping strong while aging. And um, anyways, she was she had recommended that I get these. And these are wrist weights. And similar to the ankle weights, these are wrist weights. And you know, I'm not putting them on right now because I'm not even well, here. And um, if you go to her channel, you could probably, uh, I think she has an Amazon and you could probably click on the Amazon to get, uh, to get these. And then, you know, they can, they give her a little something and it doesn't cost you anything extra to go through her, but she's wonderful. If you're looking for someone, she can pretty much reach. I mean, I know everywhere in the United States because she does things through the internet. So anyways, Thank you, Angela, you're the best. Um, and so these are different. Here are the pockets. And these have smaller weights and I have them here. These are quarter pound. A quarter pound? Uh, or let's see. No, I'm sorry, these are a fifth of a pound, right? One, two, three, four, five, a fifth of a pound. So I could put these in the pockets. And that's what's so great about the weighted vest, the way that I have it, is that it has the pockets. And although it comes with weights, you can use whatever you have that will work for your body and your situation. And then these just fit right in here. These are really nice. Um, I really like these. Okay, so that's how it works. And what I try to do is um, put it on anywhere from five to six days a week. And I wear it for a minimum of four hours. Sometimes I go eight hours. I just wear it. <clears throat> I even wear it while I'm driving and running errands, walking the dog, doing dishes, um, any household things. I don't necessarily wear it when, I, when I'm when i doing things like yoga. I won't wear it. Um, because, or 
I have a, a trampoline, um, but uh, they don't call it a trampoline. What do they call it? Anyways, it's an in-house trampoline. Um, I, I haven't been on that in a long time, but I would not use this for that. But, you know, if this is something, like I said earlier, if this is something that you're interested in, talk to your professional, talk to your doctor, um, have a plan, and you, you can be successful. My personal goal right now, I'm going to go ahead and put it on to show you. I just stick my head in here even with my glasses, because I've become professional. <laughs> Did I wreck my hair? No. <laughs> um, and see, so it doesn't squish me in here. And on the back, I have more weights on the back. And then I take these straps and I just kind of feed it through the loop on both sides. And then on the front, I just go ahead and do it like that. So this is the weighted vest and I can put a jacket on top or whatever. And so I hope that helps answer some questions that you may have had or been curious about the weighted vest. Before we switch over, and <laughs> because I have all the boxes, I'll show you. This was the original box. My goodness, I bought this so many years ago. At the time, these adjustable ankle weights, it says $24.99. I am sure that is not the case anymore because these are old, old, old. But um, these uh, adjustable ankle or wrist weights, these were five pounds for each. They still are. Um, cuffs designed with multiple weight pockets for easy adjustment. Here they are. Foam padding and adjustable straps fit ankles and wrists. Uh, secures, uh, secure, I can't tell what that says. I guess evenly distributes the weight during intense workouts. This is a SPRI product approved by ACE, which is the American Council of Exercise. And that at the time that I bought these, uh, this was this was what I chose. Also, these are um, going to be needing to be replaced at some point because I can tell that they're starting to wear out. Um, so you know they don't last forever. And then just because I showed the other ones, I'll show the All Pro. This is a four pound and um, we we saw these, this was great. Um, does it say anything about this? Premium quality weight adjustable product for fitness, health and wellness. And it's just got people doing all kinds of fun exercise on here. Um, contour foam, weight adjustable wrist weights premium quality and comfort for fitness, health, and wellness. So uh, if you have questions about this, again, you can uh, reach out to your professional. And if you're looking for someone to really who really knows their stuff about fitness and safety and working with uh, people that are older, uh, Angela Fischetti is the, the gal to reach out to, in my opinion at Boomer and Beyond. So she doesn't know that I am plugging her, <laughs> but I just, I really believe in her and what she does for people and the knowledge that she has. So, you know, when I started wearing the weighted vest, I actually started with a total of five pounds. So four pounds, two of the twos and the vest. And I couldn't do it. I mean, I did it, but I suffered and I had a lot of pain where um, you know, my, my doctor advised me to, to do that, but I was so, I don't want to say frail, but I was not strong enough. And so I had to back the truck up. And so, you know, this is where I'm at now. My goal, current goal is going to be to get to 10 pounds and then I'll have to reevaluate and set a new goal. Um, sometimes when I'm out and about people come up to me, like this one lady at the gas station, she came up to me and she said, I know you're an officer. Are you an officer? So she thought that I was wearing a bulletproof vest and I said, Oh no, I'm not an officer. I, 
and she left. So I didn't get a chance to tell her, but it is a huge conversation piece. Um, at Costco, one guy asked me, you know, can I ask you, what is that? So uh, people are interested and you guys have been interested. So I'm sharing. And, um, you know, if, if this is something that you've been thinking about, give it a try and uh, let me know in the comments below, you know, have you worn a weighted vest before and what's been your experience? And um, do you like the kind that you are able to adjust the weights like I do? Please give it a thumbs up, a like <laughs> if you enjoyed this and uh, subscribe if you haven't. I uh, would love to have you part of our family here. Okay, everybody, take care. Thank you for tuning in. Eat your greens. <laughs>